Uh, so this is a book of Revelation 1 verse 18. It read, I am he that lives and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. A man and have the keys of hell and of death. All praise, Hana and Guri, to Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahawashai, Bahashem, Lakaha Kadash, and the Wana to the Elder and the Apostles of the Timmy Son, who do well, a peace, a blessing, salutation, and to work him who are pushing this through the forgings of the heaven, and be on the forefront of this spiritual war, and to make sure Jerusalem is established as a praise, and he on his again as in the days of old. So, Amen. It is another. A lesson in man, and this lesson was uh, inspired from this video uh, from Elder Apostle Gaba. Uh, it is entitled "They Live for One Thousand Years, Then Die." And this lesson really, is, it came from the video the Scully did. It's about GMS V S Scully. So they went on to talk about uh, the uh, one one thousand year in which we will rule the elect will rule together with Yahawashai. It's in which uh, uh, that was going to uh, the first dominion. Uh, that's what they don't understand. So what is they are saying? I listened to myself. I listened to that video myself. So since they were saying like. They didn't say that after a thousand years we will die. They said that, I don't know how they used to teach back in the day, but during that particular video, uh, there was brothers who were calling, uh, so they were asking, are we going to die after a thousand years? They said no. What they are saying is, it will be a cycle of thousand years in which after every thousand years, we will get it translated like how Inoki, and Elijah got translated. And the reason is, if we live for eternity, how will the earth be able to hold us together? There was another brother who called again. He said, we will be multi-planetary speech. We will have dominion in the other planet. They denied it. And uh, what I saw from that, that was a, a pure lack, a complete lack of faith. They said that we have the Van Allen radiation belt in which even Esau he cannot get out of the Van Allen radiation belt. They forget that the kingdom of heaven, and I don't know if they believe in the chariot. They forget that in the kingdom of heaven we will have vehicles. Like how Esau have his means of transport in which it is his airplane, his cars, his jet his uh, ships or whatever, we will have the chariot. Do you think uh, our kingdom will be uh, behind Isa Widom kingdom? We will have means of transportation. Brothers will own a chariot. And a, a chariot is a pot, man. You don't have to worry about the Van Yalen radiation belt. On top of that, you will have a new bodies, man. Like how I watched it again, is a video about, uh, about the same topic a response from Elda, Elda, Elda Shawamba. He was going into, we know what we are doing is we are prophesizing about the new body, but we don't know the complete function of the new body we receive. You see? And again, you see, you don't have to worry about radiation, I mean, if you have the new body. Because what, 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 what will happen is uh, we have a change in the molecular structure. When you get translated, when you have a come, you get translated, you get beamed up. Your body will undergo what we call molecular a change. You see? Your body composition will change to fit a different environment, including being another planet, including having dominion you see, over the whole universe. So if you guys say that, we won't go into this as a, as a planet. So what was the, 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 the purpose of the, the Lord creating the whole universe? <laughs> you see? So, so these guys, they want to be Christian, really. See? And if they don't believe in, in John, 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 St. John 14, the Lord was telling his disciple 
that in my father's mansion there are, in my father's house there are many mansions. If you don't believe that that was talking about the other planet, so the only way you can get away from that is when you use a Christian eschatology, in which a Christian eschatology it goes into a actual building over there in the fourth dimension, which that is pure madness, right? That was going to this other planet. You don't have to worry about the, the, the Van Yaren radiation belt, in which who created the, the Van, Van Yaren radiation belt. How are you, man? You see? So, I mean, in today's lesson, I am going to talk about immortality being the climax of creation itself, the hate of creation. The mystery of creation is immortality. As a matter of fact, the last death in which Yahweh shall conquer the last enemy, the last enemy in which Yahweh shall conquer is death. You see? So that is the hate of creation, man. The hate of creation is immortality in which that is the opposite of death. You see? So I read Revelation 1 and 18, it says, I am he that lives. You see, and I was dead, and behold, I am alive forever, forevermore, forevermore. So that's the point, I am man, and I have the keys of hell and of death. And I noticed there was a brother who called me, and he brought this, 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 this scripture, and he dodged it, man. And he was like saying, that is a trap, somebody might use that, 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 that scripture to trap you. He was tap dancing, man. You see, he was tap dancing, man, around the scripture. You see? And he was like, I, I, I didn't mean that we die. We we'll just be translated because we, we won't be enough to, to occupy the whole rest. Come on, man. You see? Let me bring another scripture. Let us know the scripture I was thinking about. It. Let me see. So, this is a book of uh, version 20. She let me see. Let me see. I will start at the version 24 7 and I saw thrones and they sat upon them. A judgment was given unto them. I saw the soul of them that we are beheaded for the witness of Yahawashai and for the word of the Moshiach and in which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their forehead or their hand. They lived in Gaini with Yahawashai for a thousand years. So that was going into the first dominion. And you will see in the second, in the, the, the coming verse, verse 5. So that was going into the first dominion in which the first dominion will be Yahawashai. You see, and our Orient Savior Yahawashai, you see, and, and his elect. You see? That's why verse, 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 verse 4, Revelation 20, verse 4. There is a lot of, 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 of things here written here, but niggas goes into that 1,000 years. I will repeat again. And I saw throne, and they sat upon them, and the judgment was given unto them, and I saw the soul of them which were beheaded. That was going to the elect. So the elect will have the privilege to have the first dominion, in which it will be about uh, 1,000 years. Let's read verse 5. But the rest of the dead lived not again until the 1,000 years were finished. Who are the rest of the dead? You see, you Israel who will die in this side, you too said, man. You see? But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand year we are finished. This is the first resurrection. So after that thousand year, two said we will come into the kingdom of heaven. You see? Two, let, 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 let me let me <laughs> let me bring the book of Daniel and we see how make I'll make a point. This is Daniel 12, and I started verse 1. It says, At that time shall Michael send up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was seen since there was a nation, even to that same time, and at that time thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. So that is putting a separation between the one said and the two said. The same thing in, in, in the book of Revelation 25. The book of Revelation 24 and 5. Book of Revelation 20, uh, 24, it was going to the elect, man, who will have the first dominion. 
the same thing with Daniel 12 a one was going to you see the elect will get delivered let's see verse 2 he said the men of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake that's what is going on right now that sleep over there it was more of the spiritual some to everlasting life you see as he was going again to the elect you see and some to shame and everlasting contempt so I want to make a point out of this, out of this Daniel 12 and 2. So this was going to, some will awake, you see, to everlasting shame and everlasting contempt. That was going into the two said, you see. So, basically the scripture here alluding is that in the kingdom of heaven, the two said we will know what they did. That's why they will be walking in everlasting shame and contempt. You see? In the kingdom of heaven, the two said they will be walking ashamed. And you have brothers who have dreams about that. Two said they will know. You see, if you did something wrong to the, to the man of the Lord, you will come back in the kingdom, man. You will be ashamed. So, amen. So, let's go back uh, uh, to what the sky we are saying. The sky we are saying, like, after a thousand year, you see, after a thousand year, remember, remember, remember Revelation. Let's go back to Revelation. That is the point I want to make here. You see, after a thousand year, this is the scale we are saying we will get translated and we will come back through incarnation. Uh, Revelation 25 says, But the last of the dead lived not again until the thousand year we are finished. So according to them, after a thousand years, we will get translated. So, so who will bring back the two said? Let's say that we will bring back the two said, then we will get translated, all of us. So who is that, man? That is madness. So after a thousand years, we will get translated. So who will bring back the two said? You see? And then, let me... Add another point. We saw in the book of Daniel 12, 1 and 2, and the separation between the one said and the two said. You see, the one said he will come back in the kingdom of heaven, having an everlasting, let's say, they will walk to an everlasting life, but the two said he will come to an everlasting shame and contempt. So we will be able to know who are two said in the kingdom of heaven. You see. Let's say we go by, 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 by the scale, the breakdown of the scale, are, are saying that after a thousand years we will die, then what? That, that's not in the scripture because Revelation 25, I hope you are, you are getting where I'm coming from. Revelation 25 says, but the rest of the dead, that's what's going to the two said, if I'm not mistaken, man. But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years we are finished. Two said it came after the first dominion, which was 1,000 years. See, 1,000 years will be, will be building the kingdom of heaven, you see, putting this his into subsection and building him back the earth. After that, you see, when you go to the book of Micah, uh, Micah 4, starting at verse 1, you see, after a thousand years, you see, this other nation who were serving and as they will go back to their own country. You see, but we, we will make them vassal state, if you can understand. You see? So everything will, will go back, so to speak, to normal. Isa will be done away with. You see? After that, first dominion. Then the rest of the dead who, the two said, will start being incarnated. But that does not mean that in the first dominion we won't be reproducing because over there in the heaven you have the, the, a lot of the of the saint men who are not here on yes you see so they will come back in the, the first dominion so the production will be going on so the madness of sky is after 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 a thousand years we will get translated so who will bring the two said let's say that you will have people who have the elect who got born in that Two thousand years of the first dominion in Mark, they will bring back the two said. Then is the man of the Lord. Let's say if <laughs> come on, man. Let's say if we get translated, we'll come back in the kingdom of heaven through incarnation. So let's say the man of the Lord 
you see, who gave everything, who gave up everything to follow the lamb, Yahweh Shai. You see, after thousand years, then they will get translated. Basically, that's like saying they will die, man. Let's not be, let's not be politically correct here. They will die. Then they will come back through incarnation under the two said. You come back as a son of a two said. That's madness and confusion, man. So what's the difference between a prophet and, 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 and a two said? What is the difference between a prophet and a two said? Why I was listening to that, is that really, I, I, that's the question I was asking myself. What is the difference between a, 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 prophet, a prophet and a two said, man? If after a thousand years I get translated and come back and as, as, as a son of a two said, and a two said will be ruling over me. Come on, man. You can't be serious, man. So, wh what is the meaning of being a prophet, man? You see, people think that the prophet is a, a expendable. No, man. The Lord will pay the prophet. The prophet, since the foundation of this series, they haven't had an easy life. See? Going back to Jeremiah, going back to Isaiah, they didn't have family, really. they didn't enjoy life like you two said. Each, each, and each incarnation, you are just enjoying life. And then the kingdom of heaven will come under you again. Because when we get translated after the first dominion, it means we come back as the, 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 the sons and the, the daughters of two said. Come on, man. Going to Daniel 12 and 1 again, and at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince which is standard for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was seen since of the nation ever to that same time. At that time thy, thy, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book, and the men of them that sleep in the dust of them shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame, everlasting contempt. So in the kingdom of heaven we know you too said, man. Two said will be two said, and they will come after the, that first dominion is off. See? So the, the book of First Corinthians, uh, First Corinthians 15, man. Let me see. So this is was going to. Oh. Oh man. First Corinthians 15 and 12 say, Now if Yahweh shall be preached that he rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there is there be no resurrection of the dead, then Yahweh shall not listen. And if Yahweh shall be not listen, then our preaching vain and our face is so vain. <laughs> you see? Because hey, amen, Yahweh shall conquer the dust. See, he is the first fruit of everything, the first fruit of the resurrection. See, he conquered, he was the first one to conquer death, even death is, itself couldn't contain our shame. Man. That's why uh, this, I will entitle this video, you see, immortality is the climax of existence it, itself. See, living forever, that's the climax of existence. And we brothers here, you see us brothers going hard, man, is because we want to live forever. See? We are not going hard, there is a kingdom of heaven, we'll be ruled by a two said man. Come on, man. You are not serious, man. And if your house shall be not risen, there is your preaching vain in your face, is so vain. Yeah, we have found the false witness of the Moshe because we have testified of the Moshe that he lays up your house, whom he lays not up. If so, be that he the dead lies not. See? For if the dead lies not, lies not, then he is not your shall lies. Then if your shall be not lies, your faith is in vain, you are yet in your sin. And this, this I, I think that this, this dude, they don't, they don't understand the basic, or they take the basic lightly, because death equal, sin equals to death. That's the question. If there is no sin, there is no death. See? Then there is everlasting life. The kingdom of heaven, the law, such a commandment, will be written in your inward part, so we won't sin. If we won't sin, we won't die. Period. See? He's saying, 
Then they are, then Esau which are fallen asleep in Hawashai perished. If this life only we have hope in Hawashai, we are all of men most miserable. Then we are miserable, man. Especially the prophet. We have been toiling, dealing with you two said men. And then in the kingdom of heaven, we can just come and die, man. No, man. See? But now, if you have a reason from the dead and it becomes the first fruit, like I was saying, the first fruit of them that are slept, the first fruit of the, of the resurrection, he conquered death itself. He lived forevermore. The right hand of his father, Yahweh, as we speak, alive and well, man. He is not senile. He is not having what you call dim vision. He is not having diabetes, what you call it, what you call it, genetically induced diabetes, type 2 diabetes. No, man. You see? His strength is not a better. You see? You see, he 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 is not he he is not he he is not undergoing impotence. As I say, inside York, he say all fresh is not the same fresh, but there is one kind of fresh man, another fresh of beast, another fresh of another of fish, another of bed. So there is a terrestrial body and a body of terrestrial. And the is going to this. What we have is terrestrial body. That's why you can't teleport, you can't materialize and unmaterialize. You see. You can't learn the speed of light because you are hot. You are a terrestrial body. If a building falls and hit you, you get hurt. You, 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 you get put to death because you are terrestrial. A terrestrial body, man, there, is, there is no corruption. You see? But the glory of the terrestrial is one. The glory of the terrestrial is, is another. The reason why we live forever is, is because we, are, we, have, we have a terrestrial body. We will undergo what you call genetic makeup. Molecular change of our body. The basic, the basic fundamentals of life will change. And from a cellular level, from a genetic level, you see, we will have the, the, the same function of our body. We will be able to breathe. We will be able to taste the food. This is good food. And we will have our choice in the kingdom of heaven. As for myself, I will be very choosy with women. So we will have the same, the same, the same, what the same function, but what will change is the molecular constraints, the basic fundamental of life, in which Isaac tells you the basic unit of life is a cell. So the basic unit of life will change. It is a molecular structure. It won't go senile because a cell, the only reason you die is because your cell goes senile. And, and that's the Isaac science. The quest of Isaac to live forever. He wanna he, he wanna prevent what you call fake death, or what we call scientifically apoptosis. Because you are you you your cell goes senile, if your cell goes senile, your body goes senile because your cell is a basic unit of life. If the Lord during the process of being has been translated, we will change the molecular structure of our cell, so you won't be able to receive death. 